Hey guys, in this video I will show you how you can lock Excel cells using Python. In particular, we will look at how you can lock cells by the fill color, font style, formula or cell value. This method might be helpful if you want to protect your spreadsheet against any unwanted edits. For the sake of explanation, I have created a Jupyter notebook. However, I will also upload a Python file to GitHub, so you could just simply copy and paste the code from there. Before we start, let me point out that this method will only work on Windows as we are going to use the PyWin32 package. Ok, and with that said, let us get started. First things first, we need to install the required dependencies to interact with Excel. Therefore, open up your terminal or command prompt, type pip install PyWin32 and hit enter. Once done, you can import the win32.com client. I will also import path from pathlib to handle the different file paths. Pathlib is a standard Python module, so you do not need to install it. And speaking of the paths, let me first locate our current working directory. For this example, the Excel file I want to manipulate is in the same folder as my Jupyter notebook. To get the current working directory, you could use the pathlib module and type path.cwd. However, running this code from a standard Python file and not from a notebook might lead to errors, as you could have set your current working directory to a different folder. A safer option would be to access the parent folder of your Python file. That is the reason I have included this if condition. Do not worry too much about this line. Basically, it just returns the current working directory of my Jupyter notebook or Python file. Within this directory, I will now locate the file path to the workbook. As I plan not to overwrite the original workbook, I will also create an output path. For this, I will use the Excel file name, so abit2022, concatenated with underscore locked, and it should have the same suffix as the initial file, so xlsx. With our file paths in place, let us open up the workbook. As the first step, I will launch the Excel application. If you want, you could also set the visibility to false. In that case, Excel will start in the background. Now that we have an Excel instance, we could load our workbook with the file path we defined earlier. Alright, and here's our example workbook, where we have a couple of yellow input fields to create a waterfall chart. Later in the video, we want to lock all the cells that are not yellow. To tell our script the exact color, I created a small helper function. This function takes a tuple with RGB values as an input and converts them to integers. So, as an example. If I click in the yellow cell and navigate to font and more colors, we can see the RGB value in the custom tab. I'm now using this RGB code to convert it to an integer value. Next, I'm defining a password to have the option to unlock the sheet later on. Then I iterate over each sheet within the workbook. Within each worksheet, I will then define the last row and column of the used range. With that in place, make sure to unprotect the worksheet first. This step is important, as I plan to execute this cell multiple times. And every time I run the cell, I will protect the sheet in the last step. So before modifying the sheet again, I need to unprotect it first. Afterwards, I can loop over our used range. So for each row in between the first and last row, I will loop over all the used columns. Now I can check for each cell if it fits our condition. For example, if that cell has a bold font, I want to set lock to false. Otherwise, I will lock the cell. Once I have looped over all cells, I'm going to protect the worksheet with our password. But before executing my notebook, let me show you that I can currently change every cell in my worksheet. So I can change the figures, the text, or the formula. However, if I run the Jupyter notebook and go back to my worksheet, I will only be able to edit the cells that contain a bold font like input field or EBIT 2021. All other cells are locked. If I try to edit them, I will get the following message. And this is the basic idea of restricting any particular cells in your spreadsheet. We could now go ahead and also test out other conditions. If the cell value is input fields, I want to unlock the cell. Now I can only change this cell here. All other cells are locked. Likewise, we could also lock any cell that contains a formula. If I run my Jupyter notebook and go back to my workbook, I can still edit every cell to change the figures for the waterfall chart. Yet I will be not able to edit cell B11 
as it contains a formula. And for the last example, I want to unlock all cells with a yellow fill color. As you remember, the lock color is the integer value we generated earlier. If I execute this cell, we only will be able to edit the yellow input fields. All other cells are locked. As a last step, let me save and close the workbook. I will use our output pair for the file name. As I do not want to save the changes in the current workbook, I have used false when closing the workbook. If you want this cell, you will actually just close the workbook. To quit the Excel instance, you can use the following two lines. Ok, and here in my folder, I can now see the new workbook. Let me open up the spreadsheet to validate if everything is working as expected. So I should be only able to edit the yellow input fields. Any other cell will be locked. Ok, and to unprotect the sheet, you can navigate to Review, Protect and click on Unprotect Sheet. After entering our password, I can now edit all cells again. Ok guys, and that is all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.